Hi friends, uh, welcome back. Um, so today's pour is all about Kobe Bryant. Um, I had a dream about him last night. I dreamt that he came uh, when I was still the director of the Boys and Girls Club. I dreamt that he came to visit the kids and stuff. Obviously that never happened and that cannot happen. But um, so I've been thinking about him. So today's pour is all about him. So I'm going to be using Brilliant Purple by Liquitech Basics, Diaxacene Purple by Golden, Silver by Master's Touch, and um, Liquitech Basics um, Titanium White with a tiny bit of the Golden Light Thalo Green and um, also Cadmium Yellow Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow medium hue um and these are um they're these colors remind me of the lakers and when i think of kobe bryant i think of the lakers so we're doing a ring pour and then we're going to do another uh, ring pour in the middle of that ring pour and that one is going to have at the heart of it we'll have that cadmium yellow so that hopefully that um gives us the colors of the lakers um and you know like i said if I think subconsciously I've been thinking about Kobe Bryant because the anniversary of his death is coming up and uh, or maybe they were talking about it um, on the news while I had the TV on and maybe I was asleep. I'm not sure what happened, but it was so vivid and I just thought, oh, you know, I needed to do something um, to to thank him for a life well led, um, for leaving a legacy of um, as a champion, but then also just as a very um, good person. He went to visit a lot of kids um, in the LA area. So I know that he actually did what I thought he was doing, but he didn't go to the Central Coast. So I know that he didn't uh, visit our kids in the Monterey, Monterey area. But nonetheless, um, I think he is a, he was a great person, a great um, basketball player, and unfortunately his life was cut way too short. I can only imagine what he would have done had he been able to live his full life. So, uh, sending prayers for his um, soul and um, also for his wife and kids who are uh, remain here. And um, I know that his wife, you know, I when she forgave him for the cheating and stuff like that i was like oh what but you know she loved him so now she's um raising their kids and she's doing a fantastic job so anyhow so here's the poor um so here um like i said um it's a it's a ring inside a ring as a reminder of all the championship rings that he was able to earn as a laker and um all the championships he brought to la um during the time i was uh, living in la um so go lakers right all right um so let's take a look at this pour um so as you will note i didn't use any flow extender because um i did the ring in a ring and i used way too much paint so i knew that I had more than enough paint, so the roll, if the paint rolled over itself, I uh, didn't necessarily uh, mind. Um, what I do mind is like this um, mud or muddy part, or and so muddy. When I say muddy, I mean the brown, the unintentional brown that's created by uh, perhaps uh, or most likely the purple uh, combining with the light yellow blue, not blue, but uh, green that was inside the white. So um, I'm just going to uh, tilt this brownish part off um, and then um, see if I can stretch the gold um, to the other end of the canvas. Well, it doesn't look like it's wanting to do that. So I think what I'll do is I'll um, roll a marble. Um, so lately I've been um, embellishing my pores by rolling a marble um i watched mina villegas um do that with one of her pieces actually she's done that with a couple of her pieces and it looks uh, it looked amazing so um i've tried it um twice before this time and what i love about it is that it's super satisfying watching the marble go from one side to the other but i don't get to see it 
at the time that I'm rolling the marble. Um, it goes way too fast for me to be able to like look at the monitor, look at the marble. So all I do is basically just try to keep maintain the marble on the canvas and not let it drop. And by doing so, um, it gives me these great um, compositions. So um, I'm not controlling the marble. I'm just trying to get it, uh, trying to keep it on the canvas. And by doing so, it gives me some amazing um, compositions. And so I'm thankful to the Pink Goddess for these. I'm going to continue to embellish a little bit. Um, what I want to do is I want to draw sort of like a tree. And I'm going to do it in white uh, because um, he, Kobe, he did pass away. But I want, I want to show that um, he left a legacy. And the legacy will continue, will endure. Um, even past um, his life uh, through the life of his children, the life of all the fans that he had. So thank you, Kobe, for an amazing, amazing life you led and for all the um, awesome championships that you brought to LA. This is the dry uh, results. Um, I think beautiful. I think because I used... Um, <clears throat> For the base, I used um, the Artist Lock White. It came out a little matte instead of like a glossy kind of thing. But um, as soon as I varnish it, it'll bring out the colors. But look at this, it's just stunning. And this is, once again, I was inspired by Kobe and his life as an athlete and then also off the court and his anniversary his anniversary of his death I think is coming up it's probably what I was thinking about him I'm not sure why I was thinking about him but yeah so the tree signifies sort of like the roots that he left so yeah the Lakers Thank you so much, friends, for watching till the end. Um, I really do appreciate all your support. If you like this piece, uh, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. Um, it doesn't cost you a thing to subscribe. And it does allow me to try to grow this channel. Now, as a legally blind artist, I know this is going to take me a while. So I will uh, appreciate any support you can give me. Um, so thank you so much and we'll see you at the next one.